In today's episode, we're actually going to be talking about cryptos, currency, and what the blockchain technology is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Unconventional Money. My name is Ram. I'm your host. Please like and subscribe if you have not already done so. It helps us help you find your way to make unconventional money. Now, we're going to try to make it as simple as possible because this is more of a complex issue that I'm going to describe, but I'm going to try to break it down in basic layman terms so the everyday person can kind of understand what it is and what it isn't. So to start first and foremost off, why are cryptos so valuable? Even when they've gone down in their dips, if you look at the general value of what cryptos have done, they typically go up. So as of right now, uh, we are in the year 2021 and Bitcoin has been fluctuating a lot. But even still, if you look at what it was, let's say three, four years ago at a couple thousand, now up to the 35, 40,000 range, it's still a relatively huge increase in value. What other item have you bought three, four years ago that has gone up tenfold? Not very many items. Real estate doesn't even do that. So why is this Bitcoin and Dogecoin, even though they have their major dips, why are they generally so valuable? Why are they going up so much? Well, one of the things is with the way these cryptos are created is it kind of is created in a way that prevents inflation. And let me explain that. So our US dollar, let's say I have $100 saved in my bank account. When the government decides that they're going to print out much more money and just start dishing it out, it makes my money worth less. Why? Because there's more of it. Think of it like this. Pretend I'm a famous athlete and I sign basketballs after every game I play. If I'm after every game signing basketballs, my signature is very common, right? It's, it's all over the place. So it's not that valuable because everybody can get it. Now, suppose I'm a player who only signs once a year, one or two basketballs. Those balls are much more valuable because there's less in circulation and my signature on those balls cannot be repli replicated. And that's kind of how these cryptos are working. There's only a certain number that can be created when they create them through the blockchain technology. And there's a series of events that are made to prevent people from replicating them. So when these cryptos are created and there's 10, 20,000, 30,000 in market, and that's all there is, relatively speaking, as time goes by, they only go up in value, kind of like a fine wine. It's only going to continue to keep going up, prevented the government or other factors don't alter it. They will continue to go up. Why? Because the government or other people cannot just get on the computer and create new ones. So that's typically why cryptos are so valuable is because they cannot essentially be replicated. Whereas our dollars can be. The government can create $10 trillion and dish it out tomorrow and they make sure money worth less and less and less. And this is what you see with inflation. This is why gas is going up, food is going up. Just everyday things that we used to do are now 20, 30, 40% more expensive than they were of years past. That's because as they create more money, our money becomes worth less. And in turn, you need more money now to do the same things. I'm 33 years old. I remember being a youth at, I don't know, 12 years old in the eighth grade. I remember being able to go to the movie theaters for $5. I could go see a movie and have fun with friends after school. A movie ticket now, I'm from Los Angeles. You're going to spend at least $25. So if you think about that, that's a five time increase in what a 20 year span, fivefold. That's expensive. So again, as the government creates more money, our money becomes worth less and you need more. With the cryptos, the way they're created, they cannot be replicated. So it's like that rare basketball signature. There's only so much in circulation and the way the, the blockchain technology is created, which I'm going to briefly explain, prevents people from replicating it. So think of it like this. When the cryptos are created through the blockchain technology, they have a stamp or think of a, a fingerprint. Pretend I have a balloon, for example, and every time I make a balloon, I have to put my thumbprint on that balloon. OK, so my thumbprint is unique to myself. It cannot be replicated. So let's say I make 10 balloons and each balloon gets a thumbprint. Let's say somebody was to hack my thumbprint in some way, shape or form and alter one of the balloons. Once that's done, the chain is notified that there's a change occurring. So now all the other balloons get changed. But what that does, it's kind of like a security system. It lets the interface know someone is altering with one of the balloons. Therefore, I'm notified on my end for my balloons. And I could say, hey, wait a minute, this isn't right. And not only myself, but a chain of other individuals are notified. And then it can be changed back to its form, so to speak. So in order for someone to replicate it, 
they'd have to A, have my thumbprint, and B, not only do my balloon, but they'd have to do multiple balloons. So the technology behind these cryptos is essentially kind of secure. Think of it like this as another example. Pretend I have a printer, and on my printer, I print a document. I sign it, and I put my fingerprint on it. But not only that, but that printer takes into consideration my room temperature, the time of day, uh, people in the room, all of this gets recorded on it. And once it's done, pretend that printer's destroyed, completely broken and burned. You could never ever fully replicate that exact printer, time, date, stamp, seal, approval. And even if you were, you'd have to do it multiple times to create a fake currency crypto based off a of Bitcoin or Dogecoin. So again, I'm just giving you guys brief examples because it's way more complex than this and I'll do another video. It's probably gonna be a 20 minute one. But the whole point of this is showing, this is why cryptos keep going up is because essentially they cannot be replicated. And as long as they can't be replicated, they're valuable because they're rare. And because they're rare, rare adds value, just like that signature. There's only so many in circulation, they can't be replicated. Whereas with the dollar, they keep producing it. Therefore, our dollar goes down because they keep making more. So, hey, that's just a couple examples. Again, it's very minimal, very basic. Do your homework. It's much more complex than this. But I'm just giving you tidbits so you can look into it. But, hey, please like and subscribe if you have not already done so. It helps us help you. And we look to see you on our next episode of Unconventional Money. Thank you. My name is Ram. See you soon. Ram wants you to succeed and will continue to bring you unconventional money-making content for free. Leave a comment below, a like, and if you would, subscribe for more money-making tips. Also, take this opportunity for an amazing offer from Weeble. Two free stocks worth up to $1,800. See the link in the description below. They even give Ram a free stock. Everybody wins. That's